Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm delayed from Prez. And uh, I've been really busy trying to win this reporter contest. We still haven't announced the winners yet, but I'm sure that's uh, soon to come. So, uh, being really busy in this contest, I, I think uh, some recent news slipped by me here. And uh, I was like, is Newt Gingrich still in this thing? I did a Google search, and uh, no, he dropped out. He dropped out on uh, Wednesday, ending what was a turbulent roller coaster bid for the White House. The guy didn't stand a chance. Newt Gingrich, are you kidding me? Pfft. The guy's a laughing stock. He's a joke, and he didn't stand a chance. And uh, he's just another one that's out. Santorum, out. Kane, gone. Bachman, out. She's a two faced lion witch. Kane, he's a ex Federal Reserve. It's a good thing all those guys are out. Rick Perry, he couldn't remember three uh, departments. And let me do a quick impression for you. I'm Ron Paul. Hey, Rick Perry. Five departments is what you should be trying to cut because that's what Ron Paul's going to cut. And uh, also, uh, he can remember all five when uh, called to task on, on that memory. All right. Uh, his son, Rand Paul, is, an an is another amazing person. And uh, just like D. Lake and Alex Jones, he doesn't want a nanny ninny state. And neither do we. So we're going to stand up and fight with him in this info war. And uh, your sergeant in arms, your man in arms, your chief, D. Lake for Prez, he's got his Indian headdress on. I have a tomahawk. And I'm ready to collect some scalps like Inglorious Bastards. So let's fucking do this. Anyways, excuse the language. New Gingrich is out of the race. He didn't stand a chance. Good thing he's gone. Everyone else is gone. It's down to Romney and Paul. And Romney is no choice whatsoever. Have you ever noticed how Romney's crowds all come wearing the same t-shirts and buses? That's because those are unemployed people that when you're unemployed and we say, hey, we got a job for you, you have to take it no matter what. You can't even deny it. So they're like, hey, you're, you, you don't have a job? Guess what your job is today? Put on this t-shirt, get on this bus, and go vote for Mitt Romney. That's why when you see a crowd of like 10,000 Ron Paul supporters, the diversity is amazing. They're all wearing their own clothes. They all have custom Ron Paul t-shirts and signs. I see custom Ron Paul signs everywhere. A Mitt Romney sign is something that I've personally never seen. The guy is a big Ken doll with hair that he thinks is so fantastic that he gets cut in La Jolla. I don't think it's that great. D. Lake needs a haircut and a shave, and uh, he's kind of holding out uh, until the contest winner is announced. So, InfoWars, uh, you can help clean me up by announcing that contest winner. Let's get it on. I'm D. Lake for Prez.